Hey YouTube, Christian Prepper Gal here. And today I'm going to be making for the very first time some homemade do-it-yourself fire starters. And what I'll be using is some beeswax. As you can see the little pellets there. And some round cotton cosmetic discs. We're going to use these to um, as kindling to start fires in both the fire pit for cooking um, for cooking over the campfire and in starting up our wood burner stove on the inside of the camper here at the uh, homestead. So why don't you come along with me and see how we're going to do this. Okay, I have everything ready to go and to make the fire starters with. First thing is the beeswax. And this is just a bag of the uh, beeswax pellets. I've actually poured some of the beeswax into a tin can. This was just a can of corn. <laughs> And um, took the label off, and I'm using that. I've got a pot of water simmering here. It's it's not a full pot of water. It's only maybe about an inch, inch and a half deep with water. And I'm going to take the tin that I have the candle wax in, and I'm going to set it inside here. To melt the candle wax. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't have a pan that I can use strictly for candle wax. That's why I'm using the tin. Um, I had to improvise there. <laughs> All my son has here on the home set is cast iron cookware and I did not want to use the cast iron for melting candle wax because it's very hard if not impossible to get all the candle wax out of the pan once you've used it. So you want to use something that's either going to be strictly for melting candle wax or something that is disposable and it won't hurt anything. And along the same lines, I've also brought in a stick to stir it with because I didn't have anything disposable or that I it wouldn't hurt if I ruined it. So I'm using this stick to stir the wax as it's melting. This is my very first time to even ever melt candle wax. So if I seem to appear that I don't know what I'm doing, you would be right in that aspect. Um, but I did read that you don't want to cook or heat the candle wax directly in the pan that you need some type of a double boiler or something similar to that because I don't know if it'll burn the candle wax or what will happen but that's why I'm using the tin can inside of the pan with water so that it acts as a double boiler is not melted yet but it's starting to get a little clumpy and sticky so I just kind of wanted to show you if I can that they aren't exactly as uh, formed as it was when I first put it in it's only been in for probably about a minute so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back in and let it melt down and I'll be back when that's done and it's ready to make our discs. Okay, now the candle wax is almost all melted. I will try and lift it up to where you can see that it's 
pretty much all liquid. So I'm going to go ahead, see if I can stick the cotton swab down inside and see what happens. Okay, as you may or may not be able to see, I did not dip it down all the way. You can see this is all wet and this is dry. So I'm going to turn it a little and dip it in again. Okay, there. Now I'm going to set it on this paper plate and I'm going to take another one and dip in. But I realized I'm going to use these tongs to dip this one in. And I don't want to dip it all the way in the wax, melted wax, because I don't want wax all over the tongs. But it's okay if you leave a little bit of the cotton. But it's okay if you leave a little bit of the cotton uh, without the candle wax, because that's the best place to light. Oh, this lighting on the camera, I apologize for that. The uh, area where there was is no wax is the best place to start the lighting with your lighter or fire striker. And then it'll catch on to the part that has the candle wax on it. I'm going to do a demonstration of that, how to use them. Um, coming up in my next video, in fact, I will be showing what works better for me. These cotton rounds with the wet candle wax on them or the Vaseline on cotton balls. I've used both for starting fires in, in our um, wood burner stove and I'm still a bit undecided because the um, cotton rounds with the candle wax that I was using were ones that I had made <laughs> using my Scentsy candle, um, candle wax in the Scentsy holder. And um, so I wanted to see if, if this beeswax would make a better fire starter than just the regular Scentsy candle wax did. So I'm kind of experimenting a little bit with that to um, see the difference and see what works best. From what I've um, seen and read, when you're doing the cotton rounds with the candle wax, you don't want to hold them in there and absorb too much candle wax for too long. So you just kind of want to dip them and then bring them back out. Just like this. Just dip them in and then bring them back out. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. It is so simple. I can't believe I haven't tried this sooner. Anyway, that's it for now on making the cotton rounds with candle wax for do-it-yourself fire starter. So if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you would like to see other videos like this, or similar ones, please click on the subscribe button. And if you click the bell next to the subscribe button, it, you will be notified when my new videos come up. So I hope you all stay tuned for my next video coming up. It will be um, comparing the cotton balls drenched in Vaseline with the cotton rounds that were covered with beeswax. Until next time. Happy prepping and God bless.